Hey everybody, this is Ben with Living Jazz. Today we're going to talk about a time signature known as 6-8 and learn a common 6-8 groove. So in many ways this is going to be a pretty simple thing to follow, but it kind of stands in contrast to some of the rhythmic logic that we've been working towards in our other videos. It's also one of my absolute favorite things to play. So let's dive in. To start, we're looking at the numbers. Now, all of the rhythms that we've been talking about so far in this series are in a time signature called 4-4. Four, four. To play along, we would count to four and then repeat ourselves, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can break it down into smaller groups than that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So whether it's faster or slower than that, a 4-4 four, four rhythm underlies most of what we've been talking about so far. But, just like anything, you can do it differently. Groups of four aren't the only way to divide music. You can organize beats into groups of any number you like, really. Odd numbers like 13 and 9 and 5 and 7 are all possible. But, one that I'm sure you hear all the time, maybe you just didn't know what it was called, is known as 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight means that we're organizing music into groups of six, or more specifically, two groups of three. Today's examples are going to be rooted in an American music called R&B. R&B stands for Rhythm and Blues, which is a genre of music that extends as far back in time as the 1940s. Back then, R&B was built around the music of the blues, but with a faster, more driving rhythm that allows for people to dance. Now, R&B has evolved quite a lot over the years, incorporating elements and influences from hip-hop and pop and disco and all sorts of other things. And it's also important to note that plenty of R&B songs are in 4-4 time. So, we're going to focus specifically on examples in 6-8, which are commonly referred to as ballads. These include At Last by Etta James, These Arms of Mine by Otis Redding, and more recently, If I Ain't Got You by Alicia Keys, Love on the Brain by Rihanna, and Cause I Love You by Lizzo. So today's lesson will allow you to be able to play fundamental rhythm for all of those songs. Let's dive in. Okay, so to play a straight ahead 6-8 groove, you're going to take your dominant hand and tap your leg six times in a row. I'm right-handed, so my right-handed is my dominant hand. If you're left-handed, you may want to consider doing the exact opposite of what I'm doing, using your left hand to play a six-count pattern, like a mirror image. All right, here we go. Join me. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Great. Okay, so now we're going to add something called an emphasis. Now, an emphasis, you may already be familiar uh, with this word, maybe whether it's being used to describe music or things in language, but if not, when you emphasize something, you draw attention to it because it's especially important. So if you were writing something out by hand, you might draw a circle around it to emphasize it. Or if you're typing, you might make it bold or you might underline it. But today, we're playing music. So I'm going to add an emphasis. I'm going to emphasize the one and the four beats. So I'm going to play them a little bit louder. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two. All right, so. That's the first thing we do. Next, I want you to pay really close attention to this part. On the one beat, I want you to tap the floor with your dominant foot, but not too hard in case you have neighbors below you. 
make too much noise. So tap the four with your dominant foot on the one beat. And we'll even also tap our right hand as well. One, two, and three are going to be the same as what we did earlier. We just tap our leg with our dominant hand, two and three. On the four beat, tap your other leg with your other hand. And on the five and six beat, do exactly what we did for two and three. We tap our dominant leg with our dominant hand. So, all together, it'll sound like this. Join me. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Great. Okay, so now I'm going to put on a drum machine version of 6-8, and we're going to play along to it like that. Okay, so you may notice that you can add different beats, right? Try something different. Cool. Okay, so now you keep playing that 6-8 beat when I turn on the drum machine. I'm going to play a chord progression on top of it. See if you can keep up with that pattern that we've started working on, or add your own flavor, add your own notes, wherever you like. And, if you happen to find yourself behind a drum kit someday, you already know how to play the beat. Your dominant hand is going to play this drum right here called the hi-hat. Six times. Your dominant foot is going to kick the kick drum. And your other hand is going to hit the snare drum. So it'll sound something like this. Funny thing about 6 8 time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 can also be turned into 1, 2, 3, 4. Try counting to 4, but the kick is the 1 and the snare is the 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, All right, this is Ben from Living Jazz. That's it for today. Go ahead and listen to some music in 6-8, and have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.